Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze, and welcome to another pet showcase video for Wizard World 1. So, uh, this video is going to be the pet showcase uh, over the new vampire pet that was released this Halloween season. Um, as of right now, the only way you can get this pet is through um, the Nightmare Pack, and people have gotten uh, this pet. I think I think some sites may have actually had codes, uh, exact like codes for this pet, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I do know that it is in the Nightmare Pack. Unfortunately, the Nightmare Pack isn't out yet. It comes out in like two weeks. So, um, the only way you can get it is some contests are holding, or some sites are holding contests in which uh, they give Nightmare Packs. And uh, this is obviously in the Nightmare Pack. So, that's kind of cool. That's why you, if you've seen some, some people might have like, what is it called? The Dragon something armor. Uh, that is in the Nightmare Pack. So, some people have that because they were, they somehow won the contest and got the nightmare pack for it so uh we'll be seeing all that stuff in a couple weeks when i do the nightmare pack video but as of right now uh the only way to get this pet is uh if you win the contest or if uh, someone has it and you hatch with them uh that's how i got it i hatched with someone uh, earlier today and i trained it up to adult so uh pretty much the main talents that the vampire has um it's death so obviously it gives um a lot of death talents uh, it gives a death damage talent as well as a death critical talent. Um, a cool thing is it uh, gives two of these uh, vampire cards. I'm pretty sure it gives two of them. Let me look in my backpack to be sure. No, it gives one. Okay. I thought it gave two. Uh, it gives uh, one of these uh, vampire cards. I'll have to go back to here. And uh, it does 375 and swaps the health, obviously. And then it puts a negative 25% infection. Uh, trap on the enemy after you uh, after the spell, so that's kind of cool. Um, when I level it up to adults, uh, this is not a first generation vampire, um, so it's it's learned these these are from the uh, spellproof is definitely from my Minotaur, and then the Pierce Train might be from the other um, vampire that I hatched with. So uh, these are definitely not first generation talents. Um, some of the uh, the other. Uh, First generation talent that it has is going to be the um, May Cast Infection. I think it's called Cure Crusher. That is the that is the ultra rare. It might be one of these, but I'm not I'm not gonna level it up to see because I'm not too concerned with that. But uh, Cure Crusher May Cast Infection. I mean that could be useful in PvP, but otherwise um, not entirely useful for other things like dungeons. And um, it's basically just uh, gives some death talents, and then that's the main one. And then it gives some other like. Uh, hardy and all that so um i don't think i got any of those because those would be common or uncommon talents but yeah so i leveled them up to uh, adults um since i i'm not going to be leveling up in him up in this video uh for the showcase i might as well go ahead and show off this uh vampire spell um so you can see the negative 25 percent i need to do it on i need to do it on a boss that i make sure i don't kill so I have to go look around for that, but yeah, we'll show that off so you can see it, and um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up uh, the showcase for the vampire. I'd say it's pretty rare right now because um, it's it's not very easy to get uh, because of how the nightmare pack isn't even out yet. So not a lot of people have it. So I would say it's pretty rare for now, but it won't be in a couple weeks once the nightmare pack actually comes out. So it's pretty cool, and it's a cool pet. Um, let's see what it looks like when you like run around with it a little bit. So it's pretty much just that that nice little vampire you've seen in the death spell for forever, pretty much. I mean, that spell's been in the game pr probably since the beginning. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice Halloween pet uh, for October. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and find a boss that we can go and uh, use the vampire spell on so you can see that infection. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, ready to use the vampire spell. There it is up close, and I put a I put a hex on the enemy, and I also have like a negative twenty five percent weakness on me currently, so that's a thing. This uh, firecracker is also a different thing.
It's weird using that spell on this character because I've never, I don't think I've ever really casted a death spell. So there it is, uh, the new uh, pets spell. What was the actual card called? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flee. Well, yeah, flee. Um, I'm gonna look at exactly what that what that spell is called. It's just called vampire. It's not called anything else. So it's just a regular vampire, and. Uh, that's the uh, that's the new spell that it uh, the new card that it gives. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the new uh, vampire pet showcase. So uh, if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like. I think this is a good uh, pet for um, you know death people, death school uh, characters because or death school wizard because uh, I don't know. I think uh, death critical as well as the death damage would be helpful. Probably the actual spell. The spell card it gives wouldn't be very cool, but I don't know. I could see I could see it being a uh, like a popular choice for at least for the looks of the vampire for uh, someone in the death school. So that's cool. So anyway, that is pretty much gonna be it. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.